Hi, I'm Paul. I'm the guidebook editor at Swoop Adventures. I'm currently sailing up the Beagle Channel, having just done 20 days at sea to the Falklands, South Georgia and the Antarctic Peninsula. And I'm here to tell you a little bit about what happens on those uh, long days at sea between the different destinations. A lot of people get a little bit worried when they're booking a trip that a long period of uh, sea days is going to get a bit boring. Uh, but having just done a long voyage, I can assure you there's plenty of activities to do on board um, and you really don't have to worry about how you're going to be filling those days at sea. So expedition ships are a little bit different to the more traditional larger cruise ships. Uh, so you're not going to be able to be finding uh, cinemas or bowling alleys, that kind of thing on board. What you will find is a lecture theatre, a pole library, uh, a gym, maybe, maybe a sauna, um, and of course a bar and a lounge to, uh, to relax in. So one of the best things to do on a sea day on a cruise is to spend your time out on deck uh, looking for wildlife. There are always a lot of opportunities to see birds, keeping your eyes on the horizon for, uh, for whales. Um, and when you're inside, uh, there's a program of lectures from the different guides uh, teaching about all aspects of wildlife, uh, climate, uh, history, and all of the sort of other subjects about the Antarctic Peninsula. A lot of people are a little bit concerned that the lecture program on board an expedition cruise ship might be a little bit dry, might be a little bit academic. This is absolutely not the case. Uh, what the guys do is they present a series of talks to really bring to life um, the destination, the wildlife and all the things you're going to see on the trip. So another thing that's really popular to do during a sea day on an expedition cruise ship is to take part in a citizen science programme. So you might find yourself on deck taking part in a seabird survey, um, looking for different species of whales, um, collecting uh, cloud cover information. And all the data you collect is sent to scientific research programmes across the world. So on the expedition cruises, the days when you're in your destination and doing landings and zodiac cruises can be incredibly packed. Um, so you'll really appreciate the extra time you have at sea, uh, just to unwind, just to recharge your batteries, go through your photos and share all the experiences you just have with your fellow passengers. So if you're worried about the amount of time you might spend at sea during an expedition cruise, you really needn't be. There's plenty to do and you'll be thankful for the downtime just to sit and process all of the amazing things you'll see during the trip.